Uh, today, the topic that I would like to cover is the challenges that investors meet uh, when they do business in a local manner. What I'm trying to say to do it in a more traditional way. So as it's well known to my fellow investors, when they wish to enter a new market, uh, some markets can be more easier to enter than others based on the circumstances of that market that they're trying to enter. But there's always a possibility for challenges. The challenges that can be seen, and then that can be coming both from internal aspect and an external. Uh, many, one of the main factors that uh, has a prop that makes a problem with uh, going into a new market is regulations and clarity. Like when we do our own research in a traditional manner, that where you want to enter a new market, you have to do a lot of research, and uh, when you depend on Google and uh, other search engines, uh, sometimes you might not come with the full image that will give you uh, the right amount of information that you need to be able to set up your vision and your plan and all the necessary information that you would require before entering that market. Uh, one of the challenges that also you could encounter that uh, you would have like some political or social unrest in some part of the world. But when we look at the Kenyan case, we can see it's a very prosperous country. It has worked a lot in the past 10 years. And to annotate on the words of uh, His Excellency and the fellow guests, we can see that Africa is on the right track. Uh, uh, Kenya, to be more primarily, is towarding toward globalism and to have a more open economy. Uh, one of the other, like other factors that uh, investors face could be that can vary from cultural differences and uh, sometimes one of the things that you may not think about when you enter a new market, which is like natural disasters, because sometimes you would do all your work and your homework and all the needed information that requires you to enter it. But sometimes out of the blue, a natural disaster occurs, the same thing what happens in Australia or other continents in the world. But luckily here in Kenya, the weather is top notch, beautiful. <laughs> you can't uh, have anything better than that. Uh, and the list goes on in other ways. In one way or another, you have to do a very deep research. And if we look at the varieties that you have to go through, that you have to go through, uh, there is market issues, there are legal risk and barriers, uh, there are costs included in that, that you have to put in consideration when you are budgeting and you have to look on the return on investment that you have put in the new market. Uh, the other, one of the main factors that is like a backbone of a company is the marketing. So setting up the marketing based on the marketing needs is a, quite a challenge in a new market where you barely have a very limited source of information. Uh, other aspects that really defy your company would be the demand, the competitors, and your identity as a brand that you have established in this new market. Uh, now, when you start in the new market, you have a, a new challenge that there, there is like a, a segmentation of the customers in the local market that you try to attract. But there are already in existing uh, customers with other companies. So you have to be more innovative and you have to come up with better solutions that with their current uh, customer base to attract them into your business. Audience reach and customer knowledge is one of the main factors that defies it as well. But when we look at the, uh, if we look at the case of Inversera plus Africa and the solutions that they have provided in the local market, we can see that they, defer, they, they, def, they defy these demurs with uh, user directory of companies within the region. Uh, the platform uh, verifies the provided data all across the network. Uh, one of the important aspects that I see is transparency. So the transparency factor and the credibility and the authenticity of information gives it a high boost because it will be a very trusted source where you can turn your face to and gather information and consider it as your main source to get the data. Uh, the research platform covers the whole ecosystem details and insight. Now, if we are familiar with uh, automation and cloud computing, so this will come a very positive future aspect in terms of research and details and getting market insight and real data. So I believe 
the uh, Evisera Plus Africa will be a major success in the country and in the region and hopefully in the entire African market.